Hey friends, I'm the Earth. Yes, yes, the planet where you live. And today, I've woken up especially sad. Do you know why? Because I dreamt that water pollution increased so much and that all living beings that live in the oceans, seas and rivers disappeared. And even though it was only a dream, I can assure you that if you don't stop contaminating water, very soon, this dream will become a reality. The pollution of the water really worries me, and even more so if we take into account that three quarters of my surface are covered by it. Although I call myself the Earth, if you saw me from space, you would see I am more like water. In fact, I am known as the Blue Planet. Everyone knows that water is indispensable for life. Without water, neither plants or animals would exist, and neither would you, the human beings. However, many people continue to throw rubbish, bottles and furniture into seas and rivers, as if they were containers used to get rid of anything you don't want. In many homes, liquids like oil and dirty products are thrown down the drain that mix with water, and this extremely contaminated water travels through pipes to rivers and seas. Also, there are many companies that pour chemical products down drains that cause lots and lots of pollution and kill many aquatic animals. Here, you can see this seal eating a plastic bag thinking it's food. We don't know if the poor thing will survive. Or this dead frog killed by pollution. Another great enemy that covers my surface is oil. You can't imagine the damage it has done to the seas and oceans. The sinking of ships that transport oil have provoked great catastrophes. Only time is capable of fixing. But with this I don't want to make you feel sad. Because as bad or as complicated as things appear, there is always a solution. Furthermore, I am sure that if you help me, working together as a team, we will make sure the water becomes clean once again, and that the living beings that live in it are safe. A way in which you can help is by collecting your waste when you go on a trip and never ever throw it into the sea or a river. Another way is not to throw oil or other liquids like paint down the drain. Also, we can encourage our relatives and friends to improve their habits and start to think more about the importance of ending water pollution. Caring for water is caring for life. Therefore, you have a great responsibility. I need the help of every one of you in order to be healthy. If you look after the water, look after nature and all human beings, I am convinced that together we are going to make sure that my sad dream does not become a reality. Do you like the rain? Well, it's true that sometimes it can be a bit annoying, but what about how beautiful everything looks after it rains! The colours look new. The air is purer. Hmm. How good it smells! And everything looks cleaner and brighter. When it rains, everything is full of life. Because water is life. Just check out how this little bird loves water. Can you imagine if this were no longer the case? That the rainwater, instead of cleaning things, would be dirtying them? Ugh. Yeah! Or that instead of giving life, it would sicken and destroy everything it touches? Sadly, this is already happening. This terrible rain exists. It is created by us human beings with the smoke from the cars and boilers and gases from factories. All this dirty, toxic air goes up into the atmosphere and mixes with clouds. It gets into the water droplets 
that form from them, turning them into droplets of polluted water, into droplets of acid rain. That is why this rain, so harmful and dangerous, is called acid rain. Even its name is scary, isn't it? This rain is so bad that when it falls on the earth, it causes real disasters in nature. It dries plants, destroys soil nutrients, poisons the water of rivers and lakes, and makes many animals sick and die, like this huge fish or this little frog. What a pity! Yes, the chemical compounds in acid rain are so harmful that they can even make statues and buildings look ugly and spoiled. What a shame! I can just imagine what you're thinking. If acid rain is capable of destroying stone, what can we do to stop it? Well, actually, an enormous amount. Because, as we are always saying in Happy Learning, the health of the planet is everyone's responsibility. With small measures, we can make huge changes. For example, if we choose to take the school bus or bike, or if we put on a sweater instead of turning on the heating, or if we recycle waste in its corresponding containers, we pollute the air less. And with less pollution rising into the atmosphere, the clouds will be clean again and the rain will be pure water again. Goodbye acid rain! But as you know, this can only be achieved with everyone's participation. So let's get to work. Let's take care of our planet. We all know that the Earth is warming up and that this is very dangerous for all of nature and living beings. One of the most significant factors which contributes to this is what we call the greenhouse effect. But, do you know what it is? Greenhouses are enclosed glass or plastic houses where plants are grown to protect them from the cold in the winter. These little houses allow the sun's rays to enter and retain the heat inside, so the plants are always warm and can grow. This same thing is happening to our planet, the Earth. But it is very bad for the Earth and for all of us too. The gases that we generate from factories and the smoke from cars and chimneys go into the atmosphere and trap the sun's heat inside the earth, like the little glass greenhouses. This is why the earth is getting warmer and warmer, and why nature and all living things are beginning to suffer the terrible consequences of the greenhouse effect. The ice at the poles is melting, and the polar bears and penguins, for example, are running out of places to live. This also leads to rising sea levels and flooding in many coastal cities. All of this is terribly sad. But there is still time to solve it. Many countries are starting to take action and are coming together to work as a team to help our planet. In the meantime, we, the children, can also contribute to reducing the greenhouse effect by taking care of nature and saving energy. How? Well, it's very easy. By learning to recycle, saving water, and turning off the lights, the computer, or the television when we aren't using them. There are many ways to help, but the most important thing is to know and learn about the problems in order to solve them. 
Goodbye, happy friends. See you in the next happy learning video.